Hey guys, what's going on? Tony here, CCXRC, and we've got the Team Magic E5 HX with us today on the bench. And this thing looks super rad. I really like the stylings of it. Uh, got this from GearBest. They sent it to me to do a review for you guys so we can show you uh, everything that it comes with if you were to order this. So um, I'm really excited about this. This is one that I've seen on other channels that I think looks like a really, really fun truck. Uh, and it's a shorter wheelbase, and so it should make it just flip and go crazy and be uh, something that you'd see me run here on the CCXRC channel and have a ball with. So uh, let's go ahead and get this thing unboxed, and let's take a look at what you get under the hood. All right, as you can see, guys, I've already gone ahead and taken it out of the box. I was showing it to you at the beginning of the video, uh, but I've already gone ahead and unboxed it because you have to install the tires. It comes with them off and packed in around the car in the box. Uh, I've gone ahead and assembled most of them on. I left one off to show uh, a little bit about how that works. And uh, we've also got the uh, controller and other things that came in the package with it. But you can tell that the box is small, and that's because this does not have a uh, lipo battery or any kind of battery uh, for the controller or for the uh, the car itself so that's one thing that's different than most of these that come from GearBest is those at least have a lipo battery and a lipo charger not usually the double A's but it does have the car batteries for you uh, this does not but we'll talk about possible reasons for that uh, this is a very high quality vehicle that they're selling here uh, and so we'll talk uh, about that as well when we look over the car. Uh, small box because of that doesn't need to pack as much in there. It goes over the basics of the vehicle, ready to run 70 plus kilometers an hour, four wheel drive, waterproof, yada, yada, yada. Uh, lots of things we'll talk about as we keep going, so I don't want to talk too much in showing the box, but it does talk about the specs like the uh, length of the vehicle, mainly the wheelbase people want to know is 270 millimeters. The tracking, um, I'm guessing the width is going to be the 343 millimeters, height 186, so length is 428. That'd be from very front to the back of the wheelie bar is my guess. Uh, 4,400 kV brushless motor, 80 amp ESC, and your 2.4 gigahertz radio. And uh, we'll look at the rest of the stuff as we go over this. It does have LED lighting and it has nice oil-filled shocks. Um, there's gonna be quite a bit of plastic to this car, but uh, it all seems to be very, very quality materials in my opinion. Uh, so we'll look at what else comes in the box. You get basically something about bags that you can get uh, made in Taiwan, and a lot of this seems to be actually made in Taiwan. So uh, you can see here, just they're kind of selling more stuff. You get your manual, which talks about your need for batteries, what tools you'll want to have and that, that are helpful for the hobby, and that it does come with your cross wrench, which is included and is right here. So uh, yeah, it does go over the controller, how to set it all up, uh, how to use the ESC and do some programming with that, uh, what you're able to run, 2 to 3S LiPo cells, um, and your motor limits and stuff like that. And so, yeah. Uh, there's a few of the part explosions in here. Uh, but overall, it's not a very long manual. I think nine pages, eight, nine pages. Just enough to, to get you what you need from this car. So, let's take a quick look at the radio. I did take it out already and I put in batteries. Um, so, your on-off switch is right here. You've got throttle and steering reverses right here. They're marked. You just click them in. And same with your uh, trim for th uh, your steering, left and right, and throttle is uh, forward reverse. And there is also a channel three button right here in the middle um, that you can click in. And it looks like there's a dual rate button up here, but I couldn't figure out what that does in the manual. So until we get batteries in and get this running and testing some of that, we won't know for sure. Uh, but it does take four AA batteries, which I've slid in here already. And uh, yeah, it feels all right. It's not the best, most ergonomic controller, but it does have a uh, rubberized grip on here. It's not like foam, it's actual rubber and very grippy. Um, not really soft to hold on to, but it's definitely very sticky. And the tension on this, eh, 
kind of feels a little bit mushy. Um, you know how people have different uh, poles and things that they like as far as firmness or what feels mushy to them. Even when you're, you know, firing a gun, for instance, uh, the trigger pull on it. This one just kind of feels a little bit mushy to me. But I'm going to be slamming that thing down anyway. <laughs> so it also does come with little uh, clips here for your shocks to make your adjustments to uh, basically set up your shocks so you can uh, have different uh, spring tension on there. So you just slip these over the shock body to make adjustments to the spring. Um, here it talks about little air holes in the tires and stuff. I, I actually have no idea what it says, so I need to get my little Google Translate over that. Um, it also comes with the dust filters in here that are going to go on the ESC. As you can see, they show you where it goes on the ESC. Um, so here is the car. This is what everybody wants to look at. Again, I did take the wheel off and so we can get a nice look at the tread pattern. Seems pretty decent. Um, it's actually got nice grip to it. It's pretty soft. Uh, 3.2, 2.8. They say Cape Factory 5.1. All right, I don't know what all the numbers and everything mean. Some people probably do. But you can see here up in the front how the A-arms attach. Uh, JLB does this as well. Not necessarily my favorite way of attaching um, your, you know, C-hub carriers up on the front here and your arms. Um, so it can be, I find them hard to pop off. I would rather have something that screws in, but that's just me. Um, maybe it's better in the end. I don't know. I've just found that I've had more trouble uh, with these ones trying to switch out arms when I break them. So it does, while I have it off, have adjustable uh, turn buckles here. We have, we take off the body now, we'll take a look at the body because I think the body is awesome looking. I love these fenders that they've got in here. The flare is just huge. Uh, red, black, white, just super tough looking. Dig it all over. Um, it's very flimsy down here, but it gets much more rigid up at the top where it's got these uh, cut-ins, which adds some support to it for if it lands on that top there, but it does feel nice and, and sturdy. All right, so looking at the inside of the car and the car itself, we'll see um, some, some nice looking stuff. Uh, I really uh, kind of like the build of this thing. It's definitely, you can see the workmanship of this is very quality. Uh, I don't want to lose this, but it is a 14 millimeter hex. I wanted to show that and show off this uh, whole front end here with that off, but I'm going to go ahead and quickly put it back on so that I don't lose it. Um, now that we've been able to look inside there. All right, back to the car. We're going to go handheld here and get in and look. It does have nice big shocks. It is plastic all plastic for the shocks there, but they actually feel like they're pretty good uh, out of the box. Um, you can see you've got plastic arms. They're nice and beefy with adjustability for your shocks. Uh, it does have metal shock towers here um, that your body posts and your bumper here clip into. You can see the little, the way that the bumper has its little bit of shock absorption there. Uh, in the front, you've got LEDs, and on the sides here, so you've got five up front. Um, they are nice and beefy shocks. It does have metal dog bones in here, so these are going to be like CVDs that this is running. And so those look nice and durable. Uh, it is running an 80 amp ESC here. Uh, it's wire management is very nice. So this is a 3650 brushless motor um, and it is 4400 kV. You'll see in here, if we can get the lighting right, that it is running uh, a metal pinion and it has a metal spur gear and the mesh on those seems to be set pretty nicely. Uh, we've got a nice receiver box here, very buttoned up with the little antenna sticking up here. Uh, nice honeycombed Hobbywing 80 amp ESC, which we talked about earlier. 
Um, it's running Velcro in the trays here, which I really like. Um, I prefer this type of mounting system. Uh, it's running T-plugs, Dean style connectors. It's great for most of my batteries here. It's running a 15 kg Savox steering servo that is waterproof. Um, so that's the first time I've gotten one from them that's running with the Savox servos. Um, the back here we're going to see has got the same adjustable turnbuckles, uh, same style of uh, the upper arms, lower arms are very similar as well. I actually wonder if they're the same just reversed. It kind of looks like it, which would actually be very nice if it was, um, but it definitely looks like it. Uh, got lights here in the back, chunky wheelie bar, your fin, which is vented pretty well here, I would say. And yeah, I mean the rims, everything, it looks good. Your on off switch is on the side of the chassis here. So that'll make it easy to turn on and off, hopefully not for the body to turn it on and off. That'll be something we'll look at and see uh, how that feels. But that's all kind of just put in there real nice. They've got it, this box elevated. Um, everything's easy to access in here. You've got a metal drive shaft going down here from your center. And what do we got here? So we're running plastic chassis it looks to be three part so you've got your main chassis and then these bolt-on front and rear sections um, so hopefully that's nice and durable in the way that they've connected that it's very thick plastic though I will say that very rigid they've got the honeycombing going down in the bottom as well so hopefully it looks like there's also some other reinforcements that they've put in here and are strapped down. So uh, hopefully that'll keep it, or maybe that's wiring under that. Oh yeah, that's wiring. That's pretty cool. So they've actually run the wires underneath this little uh, piece you can see down here. It's just a guard that goes over the wiring and it pops out on this other side here and keeps it nice and clean and away from the gears. So that's really cool. Alright guys, so as I just look at the wiring coming around here to the top, I actually noticed that the servo is plugged right in there. They've got these little uh, extensions from your receiver right out to the main part of the car for you to be able to quickly plug in, which is really, really slick. And I actually wish that more companies would do that. I really like that a lot. Uh, keeps this in the waterproof receiver box, uh, but leaves this out where, you know, these shouldn't be uh, as crucial to keeping dry, just these little metal uh, ports like that or little uh, pins. So, um, yeah, pretty, pretty slick idea that they had there. All right, guys, one of the things that we find to be important, and I know that you find to be important as well, is part availability for the vehicles that you buy. Uh, some of them I don't mind waiting as long for with the JLBs. You know, I, I've done some little modifications and made some things that I, I needed for parts that I needed right away. But if you break an arm or something like that, you're going to probably be looking uh, at a couple weeks to get a new one. Uh, something that I found that's neat about this Team Magic is that it is also the Team Red Cat TRMT-10E. Now this is like a monster truck styling version of it, uh, but if we take a look at the inside of it, you'll find that it is the same vehicle. So if I put this thing on end, like so, we'll look at some of the uh, comparisons that we can get here. Uh, starting with the blue Savox Servo, the 4400 kV motor here, uh, the receiver box, the honeycomb shaped ESC, uh, and the little filter that they've got in there, the tray, everything about it's the same. It's running red uh, shock towers, but uh, the rest of it is the same. These are black. So you've got the honeycombing, you've got that little uh, tray in there that I talked about holds the wires in it. Um, you've got right here your, you know, your ESC plugins uh, or your receiver plugs right here, which is really, really slick and something that I actually missed when we were looking at it earlier. So that's very, very <laughs> convenient that they've done that for us. 
uh, making it uh, super simple to access. So, um, yeah, I just wanted to point that out. There is part availability. Uh, this is actually right here pricing it on uh, on Amazon. So they've also got the uh, M8E, which is a larger size. But uh, anyway, just wanted to uh, to show you that the Team Red Cat is um, you know another version of this Team Magic vehicle. All right, guys, so that's a quick look at the Team Magic E5HX. Uh, again, this was sent to me by GearBest to do this review for you guys. I'll be sure to put links down below for you to see this, but also for parts uh, that you can find on Amazon through the Team Red Cat version so you can see what kind of availability there is. Uh, I would go ahead and download the manual for both so that you can compare parts and get the right part numbers so that if you want to order parts for it, you can do it that way. Uh, but you guys, this thing uh, looks to be built very well and uh, we'll get out there and we'll test it. I like the build quality of it. I'll say that. I don't know the durability, but all the parts seem to be nice and a little bit higher end than some of the other, even though it's all plastic. Uh, but we know that even Traxxas does that, where they do a lot of plastic parts, and those cars are tough as nails. So that doesn't necessarily scare me. But anyway, guys, if you like these types of videos, these reviews, kind of showing you what's available, uh, be sure to hit the subscribe button. Let us know what you think in the comments. If you want to know every time we post a new video here, from bashing to crawling to unboxings like this, hit the little bell button and you'll get an email alert every time uh, we go live or we have a new video. So thanks for tuning in. As always, guys, have fun RCing and we'll catch you next time.